Today, I'm showing you some awesome baby hacks that you need in your life. So if you wanna make your life as a parent easier, then you're gonna to wanna to stick around. Instead of fishing baby's wiggly arms through a onesie, try feeding your hand through the armhole and guiding baby's arm through. This allows you to gain control of your little one's random arm movements and get their arm through the sleeve quicker and easier. Ugh, blowouts are the worst. Instead of pulling that poopy filled onesie over baby's head, roll it down towards their feet. Did you know that that's what those little shoulder flaps are for? I didn't until after I had my first baby. Trust me, this has saved us from making a bigger mess more times than I can count. I don't know if this is true for all babies or just my babies, but my babies tend to poop right in the middle of a feeding. Instead of changing your baby before feeding, wait a few more minutes until about halfway through to save you from possibly changing another diaper. This also works well if baby wakes up extremely hungry in the middle of the night. I would change my son before feeding him and he would scream and cry and flail his arms because he was hungry and cranky from just waking up. When I change him halfway through the feeding, he's so much calmer. So even if he doesn't poop before I change his diaper, at least it cuts down on that battle. Obviously, do whatever you're comfortable with and what works for your baby. This just happened to work best for both of mine, but if you try and find it doesn't work for you, then by all means, change your baby before the feeding. Babies are squirmy. Obviously, these little wiggle worms can make changing a diaper quite difficult at times. To keep baby's hands out of the way, roll their onesie over their arms to keep them contained while you change them. I'm not sure how this works with older babies, but try it and see. And if you do try it with an older baby, please let us know in the comments below how it worked out. Are you tired of doing a one-handed diaper change and pulling out a hundred wipes at a time? Place a hair tie around the side of your soft wipe package to help pull out only one wipe each time. I love this hack and I never even tried it until I had my second son. To cut down on messes, place a new diaper under the old one before changing. This can catch any accidents that may happen and make your diaper change more efficient. If you have a baby boy, you may know that a surprise spritz can occur during a diaper change. Sometimes this is triggered by the cold air or a wipe. So to try and avoid this, run a wipe under your baby's belly button before taking their diaper off. When you do go to change the diaper, place a washcloth over the exposed diaper area to absorb any accidents that may occur. Are you wondering if it's time to size up on diapers? A lot of diapers actually have a size indicator to let you know. If the tabs don't reach the end, it's time to size up. You see that colored strip that goes down the front of your baby's diaper? If you didn't already know, that strip will change color when your baby's diaper is wet or dirty. So you don't have to take the diaper off to check. You know that little ruffle on the edge of the diaper? That's not there to make it look cute. It's actually there to help prevent leakage. So make sure it's untucked after every diaper change to avoid a mess. This hack ensures you have a diaper changing station wherever you go. I mentioned this in my diaper bag hack video, which I will leave a link for down below, but you just take a reusable wipe container and then fill it with whatever you would need to diaper on the go. So I use hair ties to attach a smaller pack of wipes under the lid. Then I use a gallon Ziploc bag to place some diapers in. And then here's a hack within a hack for you. Press the air out of the bag and it will compress the diapers to give you even more room. Then I take a disposable changing mat and throw that in there as well as a small tube of diaper cream. With your diaper kit, you're going to want to have some spare clothes to keep in your car as well. So take a onesie, pants, bodysuit, socks, whatever you need for an extra outfit for your little one. And then you can roll it up in one of two neat ways. You can either roll an outfit together by leaving the socks with the opening facing out on each side. And then you can secure the outfit with the socks to make a little clothing burrito. If the socks don't fit, you can also use hair ties around the sides to secure it. You can also lay your onesie down and then stack all the other items on top of it. Fold the sleeves in before folding the whole top half down and securing the snaps. While you're at it, keep a spare outfit for yourself in the car and in your diaper bag. If your baby has a blowout or spits up on you or any kind of other accident, you'll have a backup. To keep pacifiers clean and easy to find on the go, store them in little souffle cups or small Tupperware containers. If you have an Apple Watch and an iPhone, then you have a baby monitor on the go. Simply open up the camera app on your watch and place your phone close to your sleeping baby for a DIY baby monitor. Three words, doggy poop bags. 
These things come in such handy for when you have dirty diapers on the go. I love how they come in a convenient roll so they're the perfect size for travel and throwing in your diaper bag. You can also use them in your home if the stench in your diaper pail is too overbearing or if you don't have a diaper pail and you wanna just use a regular garbage pail instead. If you don't have a baby wrap or a carrier, get one. They allow you to be hands-free and get stuff done while still being close to your little one. Win, win. Baby bath toys can be so fun, but unfortunately, many of them have those little holes in them that let water in, and this can lead to a gross moldy mess. To avoid this, place some hot glue over the hole to prevent the water from getting in. Even after doing this, you still wanna always check your child's bath toys routinely and discard them immediately if you see any signs of mold. A good way to check for this is by holding them up to the light, and if you see any dark spots, chuck them. For easy access to bibs at mealtimes, place a command hook on the back of your baby's high chair, then hang your clean bibs so they're always within reach. One hack I really love is to use receiving blankets as burp cloths. They're nice and big so they cover most of your torso so you can keep the spit up mess to a minimum. If baby gives you a hard time when applying lotion or sunscreen to their face, try using a foundation brush to apply it. Tight on space. Use a hanger to hang multiple onesies or bodysuits upside down in your closet. So I've never actually tried this one, but apparently you can use a nursing bra as a pumping bra. Simply unclip and then move the thin strap to the other side of your boob, attach your pump, and then reclip. If you found these baby hacks helpful, then please give that thumbs up button a quick click and let me know in the comments which was your favorite. Make sure you subscribe before you go for more videos to help make your life as a parent easier. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.